Let's bring out the starters for your Oklahoma City Thunder. One thing, Doris, that should attract a lot of attention in this game, that matchup at the guard position. That is going to be special. Well, that's the point of attack on both ends of the floor, and it's always fun to see skilled and capable guards duel it out. It is like watching a great chess match. So the opening lineup for the Suns. Up front, Durant plays the four with Nurkic at the five. Deadly backcourt pair of Booker and Beal. And it's Allen in at the small forward. Pass to Caruso. Holmgren with a screen on Beal. Six to shoot. Caruso, no good. Beal, the pass to Booker. And it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. How about that? Shea Gilgis Alexander, big time defender, and sends that one back. You want easy looks? Don't allow the defense to set up. What a beautiful fast break opportunity, and the finish pretty good. Now, here's Durant. There's the three. That shot, no good. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. A three-pointer, no good. For Phoenix, they've gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. Here's Durant. Kicks it out to Allen. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Beal against Dort. Beal dishes to Nurkic. Outside, KD. That three off the mark. Thunder have gone just 1 of 4 to get this game started. Greg in the process to bring in all their stars. The Suns don't have a lot of ways to add players in the near future. When they don't control their draft picks for the next few years, that was part of the price for Beal and Durant. They'll have to be very shrewd to add rotation pieces to help them win. And here's Booker after the three-pointer from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Beal against Corso. Pass to Holmgren. Now Williams. And the rebound by Nurkic. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks. Mark Dagnall and I got a chance to talk for a bit. I asked him about his team's plan in trying to contain Kevin Durant. He said, I don't think you can contain Kevin Durant. Our focus is trying to have him take tough shots. Hope he misses most of them. We'll see if they can put any pressure on KD tonight, guys. All right, David, thanks. Now, here's Caruso. Devin Booker missing his last shot. Launches from deep. He's off on that one. Good work defensively by KD. Booker looking around. And Durant gets it to go. The assist by Booker. One of the tough things about Kevin Durant, doesn't matter if it's off the dribble or in this situation off the catch, Durant one of the best, period. Now here's Holmgren from the arc. Kevin Durant with the rebound. And KD's got the ball here for Phoenix. Booker in the corner. Another three for Phoenix. And from the corner, Booker is not a player you can forget about. Outside, Williams. To the inside, Gilgis Alexander. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. And timeout is called by Mike Budenholzer. He's ready to talk things through with the team. Royce O'Neal is checked in for Allen. Royce O'Neal. Nurkic finds O'Neal. Booker outside. Six on the shot clock. Takes the three. 
Phoenix, no good that time either. Oklahoma City is gone, just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Here's Dort, and a great assist by Gildas Alexander as that one goes in. Well, Dort touched the paint, and he was immediately thinking score. And Chet Holmgren's been a great player from day one, Doris. What do you like most about his game? I don't know which aspect to pick. This guy is a great rim protector. He can shoot the basketball from three-point territory and with great range from three. But maybe my favorite aspect is the competitive toughness he brings on a nightly basis. He'll just Alexander, good. That's a big-time move right there. So crafty, so tough. SGA, big-time skill. Here's Booker. Connects in the foul line jumper. Booker's got five now. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Outside Williams. Here's Holmgren. That one doesn't go. Great D that time from Nurkic. Nice contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Well, just tremendous composure on the interior. Read the defense, take advantage of the situation, and deliver. And a new group in here for the Thunder. Hartenstein's checked in for Holmgren. Wiggins comes in for Dort. Isaiah Joe, he's checked in for Alex Caruso. And it's Casey Wallace in for Gilgis Alexander. Here's Joe. Screen by Hartenstein. Joe, good. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Suns trail by three. Pass to a Kogi. Duran against Wiggins. From outside the arc. Gets a hand on it. There's Nurkic putting it right back in. And just a massive player. Nurkic's combination of size and strength helps him on that offensive glass. Here's Joe. Back to Hartenstein. Pass to Joe. But three. And it's Durant with the rebound. Sun shooting 36% in this first quarter, trying to get their bearings. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Oklahoma City's gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. Now here's Durant over Wiggins. O'Neal wide open. That's good, and it's KD with the assist. O'Neal's got it all tied up now for the Suns. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 7 of 15 from the field to this point. Booker against Wallace. There's the triple. Rebound by the Suns. Norkic has got four rebounds in this game. Here's Booker. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Wiggins outside. Now Williams. For the three. Cranes it from beyond the arc. Williams has got five. Eight seconds left in the first quarter of the game. And here's Booker from the arc. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Thunder lead by three. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. What stands out to you from Oklahoma City in this one? Well, you, you come in thinking they're going to settle for perimeter jump shots. Think again. Uh, they've certainly made the commitment to pounding the basketball into the painted area, and boy, is it paying dividends. So at Durant sitting on the bench, this is Mike Budenholzer's lineup. Bradley Beal is out there with Morris. Then it's Royce O'Neal. Then there's Plumley, and it's a Kogi in at the three. A small forward. Wiggins, a screen on Morris. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. Can't get it to drop. Made three. 
Missed two from the field. Well, the ascension of Jalen Williams, Doris, has been swift and very fun to watch. Oh, absolutely, Kevin. He became very quickly in his second season a number two option and, frankly, borderline 1A option. And it's not just his offensive game, Kevin. This guy has become a stout defender. He's got the perfect NBA frame, and he fits in personality-wise. Beal can't get it to go. Oklahoma City trailing. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First person Doris Shea Gilgis Alexander has a chance to go down as one of the greatest Canadian basketball players ever. Kevin, that is a bold statement when you consider that the great Steve Nash, two time MVP and one of the best passers in the history of the game, is of Canadian descent. But this guy. Jay Gilgis Alexander is putting together quite the resume. Let's just hope he can sustain that stardom. And the Suns making a change here. Allen's checked in. He makes one of two that time. And joining us now by phone is insider Shams Charania with some news. Shams, give it to us. Thanks. Many consider this summer to be the most challenging field in the history of international basketball. Nevertheless, Team USA got it done in Paris. It's not getting any easier, but the star power of the U.S. men's team shines bright in the city of lights. Guys, a classic ending for a stacked U.S. roster. You're right. What a performance. Hey, Shams Charania with the report. Thanks, Shams. And Mike Budenholzer is called a timeout. Looking for a breather and maybe just one or two things to talk about. And Plumley kicks to Morris. Makes it off the glass. Morris. Morris has got the lead up to three now for the Suns. You love the aggressive play inside from Monte Morris. Pass to Hartenstein. Down low, here's Gilgis Alexander. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Adley Beal picks one up. Yeah, the defender all over. The Thunder shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. One guy who now seems to be a perennial MVP candidate, Shea Gilgis Alexander Doris. He is rocketing up the charts. He is, Kevin. There's no doubt about it. He can consistently put 30 on you like it's absolutely nothing. He gives you everything else as well, including incredible leadership and great teammate skills. Wiggins with the block. <laughs> the wing, Gilgis Alexander. 12 points for him. It's good. And this is something this guy takes pride in. Capitalizing on second chance opportunities. And Booker kicks to Beal. Count it good. Beal's got his first points in this one. Boy, that is just tremendous concentration from Bradley Beal. Defense all over him, no problem. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, despite suffering a first-round sweep in last season's playoffs, the Suns' front brass remains confident that they were mere inches from where they needed to be to compete for a title, emphasizing that chemistry is built over time and through the fire. Hope is with another year to coalesce, this team will be ready for a deeper run. Kevin? Well, they've got the names. They've got a big coach now coming in. All right, D.A., thank you. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Here's Gilgis Alexander. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Let's remember that at six foot six, Shea Gilgis Alexander can more than handle himself near the cup. Booker against Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren with the steal. And here is Caruso. Riggins outside. Offline with his three. 
Suns trail by three. Allen passes to Booker. Allen outside. Here's Beal. And the rejection by Holmgren. Already set the summer league record for blocks in his first game. Holmgren, one of the best young shot blockers in the league. Hartenstein against O'Neal. Back to Wiggins. Shot clock at six. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. The Suns have gone five of eight from the floor here in the second quarter. Over 60% shooting. The Thunder leading by three. Pass to Wiggins. At the top of the key, Holmgren. Count that one. And looking to get stronger, Holmgren fights through the bump. Tons of time for him to grow into that frame. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And timeout is called by Mike Budenholzer. And coach has decided they need a moment to talk things over. Here are your for Oklahoma City. Alan Williams is checked in for Hartenstein. Dort comes in for Wiggins. And Wallace subbed in for Gilgis Alexander. And for the Suns, Kevin Durant, he's checked in for Royce O'Neal. And Akogi subbed in for Beal. And Booker kicks to Allen. Pass to Plumley. For three, Akogi. And Holmgren pulls it down. Well, you can see why the defense dared him to shoot it. That's not really his spot. Outside, Williams. Holmgren with a screen on Durant. Inside. And the jump by Holmgren. And attacking the rim. Holmgren making excellent use of that height inside. And with this score of the Suns in a break, you never know who is going to initiate the offense for. And that can cause problems at times, Kevin. It can run you into issues keeping the ball moving. Turnovers can be their Achilles heel as well. Caruso, a screen on Booker. Here's Wallace and Oklahoma City again with the bucket. And that's his go-to move right there in the low post. Suns trail by six. Outside, KD over Williams. And Holmgren pulls it down. Holmgren's got six rebounds in the game. Caruso kicks to Holmgren. Booker against Wallace. It's hauled in by the Suns. And the call will go against Grayson Allen. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, great defense. They anticipated the play and got there first. Some changes for Phoenix. Yusuf Nurkic comes in for Plumley and Bradley Beal. Some in for Josh Akogi. Wallace outside. Back to Caruso. Pass to Wallace. Williams against Durant. Fires the three. In the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. This is as pure a shooter as there is. You've got to stay connected or it's a problem. Now Allen defended by Dort. Kicks it out to Booker. Book it! Devin for three. How about the competitor answering? Mr. Booker put it back with a three-point answer. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Caruso. Here's Williams. That shot is off. Great D that time from Durant. Allen outside. Back to KD. And 
the last second attempt he doesn't fall and so we wrap up the first half it's the thunder up six thanks so much dave for the great interview don't go away folks we'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this Halfway through this one, plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. You know, Shea Gilgis Alexander has been exceptional here tonight, guys. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far unstoppable. In the backcourt, we'll see Gilgis Alexander and Caruso. Dort and Williams up in the forward positions. And it's Holmgren in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And that's who Mark Dagnall starts the second half. Here's Dort! And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Doors, do you think the Oklahoma City Thunder has the best young core in the NBA? Well, they are absolutely loaded with talent, Kevin. Not only that, they fit together. Now they've got a perennial MVP because Shea Gilgis Alexander has inserted himself into the best player in the game conversation and a rising star in Chet Holmgren. Look out. How about the ability of Durant to make those long strides to the rim and absorb the contact? Kirkich with the block. KD with it. He's picked up by Gilgis Alexander. KD passes to Beal. Kicks it out to Al. Kicks up a three. Wow, came this close to a four-point one. Yeah, led to the line for three free throws. First team foul. Yeah, he, there was definitely some contact there on the three-point attempt. And he sinks the second. And he makes all three. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Pass to Holmgren. Up top, Dort. Allen defending to the middle. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Sinks that one from the post. Gilgis Alexander's got 16 points. And this is SGA's role. He's out here to score and score often. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. One on Holmgren. For Phoenix, they have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. And last season, when they got themselves to the line, they usually came through as a team up around 81%. Gilgis Alexander against Booker. Pass to Dort. Durant with the steal. Deal against Caruso. Nurkic a screen on Williams. Here's Allen. And yes, it's good. He's got 11. I'll tell you, you allow him to get to a spot, and it's over, right? Defense unable to even challenge the shot. Gilgis Alexander finds Williams. Booker against Gilgis Alexander. Drops in the layup for two. And the Thunder lead by three. The Suns have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Beal against Corso. Pass to Durant. Here's Booker. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And Dort is one guy who rarely has an off night, Devin Booker. He has been the model of consistent excellence, Kevin. This guy so efficient, so productive, all about winning. I am not sure Devin Booker gets the credit he deserves for the level he's at every night. First free throw is good. G.A., when we think about Devin Booker's scoring ability, he always has been ahead of the curve. 
the, the youngest player ever to score 70 in a game, amongst the youngest to get to 10,000 points. Booker is on a historic scoring pace. Dort misses. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Here the short break in the action gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Kevin, thank you. Kevin Durant is the human cheat code. Bradley Beal says of his new teammate, he's seven feet tall, he can shoot the ball, he can do everything. It's a little unfair. I get a bit jealous sometimes. I wish I was seven feet, but nothing he does really surprises me. When he's in attack mode and locked in, there's nothing he can do. Kevin? Not a single darn thing. You're so right. David, thanks. Just a load. I mean, at seven feet, Nurkic also moves well. And that combo gets him to the line a bunch. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Gilgis Alexander's got 20 points. This guy is an absolute scorer from anywhere on the floor. Shea Gilgis Alexander doing work in the mid-range. And timeout is called by Mike Budenholzer. Wants to regroup and go over the strategy. The Suns with the ball. They trail by three. Nurkic finds Allen. Nurkic set the pick for Allen. It's good. This game is all evil. Allen's got 14 points. Great dish from Nurkic there. He really has a sixth sense for those reads. Pass to Caruso. Driving in. Out of bounds, Phoenix will take possession. Phoenix ball. O'Neal second for the Suns. Number double zero, Royce O'Neal. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. O'Neal on the wing for the lead. Got a hand on it. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And the foul goes against Oklahoma City. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. And Doris, when you take a look at someone like Royce O'Neal, what do you see? I mean, so many things, Kevin. There's great intangibles with this young man. Hard worker, incredibly smart defensively, versatile defensively, and he's so often matched up against the opponent's best scorer and relishes it. I love that. Gilgis Alexander against Booker. Five to shoot. Goes up on the wing. And the rebound by Norkic. Norkic has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Beal against Caruso to the paint. Here's Norkic. And finished off by Norkic. And uses balance along with fluidity to finish at the rim. Norkic is a unique big. Gilgis Alexander passes to Hartenstein. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Holmgren. So sets the screen for Holmgren. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Gets an open look and hits. And it's now 22 points for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Booker outside. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. Nobody near Williams. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got three assists in the game. Outside Durant. Nurkic a screen on Holmgren. 
to the inside and finish off by Nurkic. Boy, how about the quick decision making of KD? What a fabulous job he does sifting through the defense and putting the pass on target. Here's Gildas Alexander. Gets it to fall, and now he's 10 of 15 on the game. As we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. Outside Durant for three. Kevin Durant, bullseye. Money on the three. Oh, boy. Don't allow Kevin Durant to get comfortable from there. It could be a long night if you do. Outside Williams. Outside, Gilgis Alexander sinks the three-pointer. Holmgren's got seven. And, and guys getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Pass to KD. Kept alive. Nurkic kicks to Durant. Off target from outside. The Thunder with the lead. Here's Holmgren. Now here's Williams. 34 seconds left in the third quarter. Lock at six. Free throw line jump shot. Back to Holmgren. Pass to Williams. Fades. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Norkic has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. O'Neal issues to be it. Here's Booker. Looking to get it going. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. For Phoenix, they have been shooting right around 75% of the line. 9 of 12 so far. The first one falls. And the Suns making a change here. So he makes both from the line. A big time effort for Grayson Allen, providing a lot of energy for the Phoenix Suns. He notched eight points in the. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court dish. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. So at Durant sitting on the bench. This is Mike Budenholzer's lineup. We've got Allen. On the way out there with Royce O'Neal. Then there's Devin Book, and it's a Kogi in at the three. How about the ability to adjust after the contact? Booker, the score in the end one. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Suns. Their accuracy in this one has just been on another level. I mean, the three ball keeps falling, and the defense just hasn't been able to run them off the line. And another theme in this game to me, guys, has been how lethal they've been in transition. Attack on the break and make sure you convert. And that was the right call. But when you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the, the most. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. Bull, bull. He's jacked in for an What you love about Shea Kildress Alexander is this young man's work ethic. He is a gym rat who's always looking for ways to improve. And here's Booker from the arc. The long range shot from Booker. Taking back the lead once more. Give these teams credit. Man, they are battling. Neither team willing to give an inch, and neither able to seize the momentum. This has been a fascinating one to watch. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. Nailed from three-point land. Gilgis Alexander's got 18 points just in the second half. Booker outside. Allen with the screen for Booker. Three-pointer from beyond the arc, and Booker with the response. And so many teams now look to establish the perimeter to set up everything else. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. And you know 
they wanted that one to go down. Let's prove it time. Fourth quarter. Don't get it done now. No more chances. Pass to Allen. Bowl is screen on Williams. Williams against Allen. Four on the clock. A new 14 for the Suns. Screen by Bowl. Kicks it out to Booker. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And here's Wallace. He'll bring it up for the Thunder. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. And he uses the glass on the lane. Gilgis Alexander's got the game tied up here for the Thunder. It's very long, and SGA so effective around the hoop because of that length. Hooker the pass to Bull. Back to Booker. Pass to Okogi. Right through the cylinder that time. All net. Okogi's got his first two points. Thunder have gone an outstanding 4-5 of five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. Williams sets a screen for Wiggins. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And here we go. Booker heading to the hoop. Oh. You got to be kidding. Wow, the elevation, the creativity, highlight reel finish by Devin Booker. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Gilgis Alexander finds Wiggins. Williams with the ball. Williams a screen on Allen. Waltz. Off target from three-point range. Suns lean by four. Here's a Kobe. Here's Booker. Booker hits it inside. Putting up points is what Devin Booker does best. And right now he is showing out. And Mark Dagnall calls timeout here. He's clearly intent on wanting to lock in and make sure everyone's on the same page. And a new group getting ready for Oklahoma City. Holmgren, he's checked in for Williams. Jalen Williams comes in for Williams. Dort, he's checked in for Wiggins. And it's Alex Caruso in for Case and Wallace. Phoenix also making some changes. Norkic checked in for Plumlee. Durant comes in for Bull. And Beal subbed in for Josh Akogi. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Mark Dagnall talking to his team during the break. He told us, guys, I need you all to come together right now on both ends. This game is not over, and you need to go out there and take control now. We'll see how it looks coming out of the timeout, guys. Thanks, David. Now here's Booker. Outside, Beal. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Beal's got the lead up to six now for the Suns. Well, you see how crafty Bradley Beal is. The athleticism helps in the paint. That's nicely done. Caruso kicks to Dort. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Just five to shoot. And he lays it straight in. Gilgis Alexander's got 12 now in this quarter. SGA, that's Shea Gilgis Alexander to you. Big time clutch delivery. Booker the pass to Nurkic. Nobody near Allen. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And the rebound by Norkic. Norkic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Hooker the pass to Norkic. And he drives in. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And the size of Nurkic is a lot to handle. When he's driving, he has got the defense at his mercy. First one falls for him. Oh, 
And both free throws good for Nurkic. Under trailing by eight. Gilgis Alexander with it. Misses the baby hook. Here's KD using his length inside to reach. Kevin Durant. You love the efficiency of that play. Kevin Durant on the interior. Yes, sir. Gilgis Alexander against Booker. Shoots from 12. And he hits the jump shot. Gilgis Alexander's got 38 points. Listen, he hits that shot on a regular basis. Give credit to the offense for getting him a clean look. Taken away by Williams. Inside. Stolen by Durant. Booker against Gilgis Alexander. Right side Durant. Your catch dishes to me. Ball's not loose. Out of bounds. Suns balls. Phoenix keeps possession. Phoenix ball. Shot clock at six. A nice shot by Katie. Yeah, you have to make greater effort than that defensively. You, you know what he can do from range. Well, to me, that's just inexcusable. You start to wonder how much they really want this basketball game. Yep, it goes in, and the Suns' lead is the down to nine in the bucket from Gilgis Alexander. Now, Booker. Outside Durant. Booker outside. Nurkic a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Booker no good. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no cover. Let's it go with a three. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Guys, you've got to think a basket here would seal it. No question. That would be all she wrote. Allen kicks to Booker. Heel against Gilgis Alexander. KD draws the double. Here's Nurkic outside for Beal. Drills it from outside. Beal's got the lead up to 12 now for the Suns. But the truth is they've had control of this game. And I couldn't agree more. What makes it that much more impressive, they're doing it on the road. So it's the Suns winning easily here. This was, thanks so much, David. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast.